Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about Arcanus operating system. I'm going to give you a very short introduction of open networking, and then I'm going to speak about white boxes and uh, give you a list of open networking operating system and where Arcanus stands in this list, and of course, what is uh, the benefits for Arcanus, which is going to excel other operating system in the market. So, first of all, the question is going to be this. What is open networking? In case you have worked with Android cell phones, you know that although the brands of the cell phone is going to be different from one vendor to another vendor, but all of them, of course, run Android as their operating system. So, a program which is written for, let's say, Samsung could be run on, uh, let's say, Motorola or Xiaomi or some other brands that are present in the network and all of them run um, Android on them. Yes, of course, there are some uh, modifications on some of the uh, vendors or devices, but of course, uh, the whole purpose is going to be kind of interoperability between different types of Android devices. So you can just run different programs on all of these platforms. But what about, let's say, Apple phones. Apple phone runs a specific type of operating system which doesn't have any kind of interoperability with other devices. So you cannot really run iOS, uh, iOS applications on Android phones or there is no other iOS, uh, device other than Apple phones in the market. So this is not necessarily bad, but of course it's going to limit you to just one vendor and that's what we call it vendor lock in we don't really want to be locked with well, just one vendor the same thing happens in networking operating system so you have let's say cisco you have juniper you have some other vendors that uh, provide you with their devices but of course the operating system has to be uh, cisco or juniper you cannot really uh, Junos, of course, you cannot really run some other operating system on those devices unless they have been, you know, customized with that. Uh, the other thing which is um, not, you know, uh, very good on these kind of uh, devices is uh, they run some proprietary technologies which you cannot really run them in accordance with other um, along with other types of devices in your network. For example, you cannot really run PGP on Cisco with other devices because other devices do not support PGP. Other devices, however, support LACP, which might not be supported on some of the specific devices on Cisco, for example. I wouldn't say this is, like I said, a drawback, but like I said, vendor lock-in is something that we do not really want to uh, deal with. So vendor neutral solutions are one of the benefits of open networking. Now, of course, open standards, I, I, I want to say this is very much bold in open networking uh, operating systems because most of them, of course, are supported with some other vendors, but uh, which pro provide their uh, own operating systems with the devices that they provide for you. But again, using open standards is going to be uh, more common in open networking operating systems. Which brings us to the next question. Uh, what are the key aspects of open networking? So that's going to be, we just mark them for you, open standards that we have here. We can have software-defined networking uh, in open networking, which means that I wouldn't say this is a very big a deal in here but of course uh, there are some technologies unfortunately um, they are not supported in all of SDNs but of course you can see that SDNs are going to be part of open networking. Network disaggregation is going to be another one and also automation and programmability which is highly pro supported in the Arcanus operating system and also we have community and collaboration which is going to provide uh, supports for the operating system that we have in here. Next thing is going to be white boxes. What are white boxes? 
A white box, as a matter of fact, uh, or uh, specifically I would say white box network device because we might have white boxes for some other purposes as well. But for network white boxes, they are bare metal switches. Most of them are switches. Of course, I wouldn't say all of them, of course, but mostly switches. And we can call them bare metal switches or white box switches. These are network devices provided with some, provided uh, by some um, let's say device manufacturers um, without an operating system or I would say without a proprietary operating system because you might ask them for example I want this uh, with I don't know Arcanus operating system installed on that so I'm not going to have to uh, install the operating system myself so you should do it for me so you provide the hardware with the software installed on that and the license and applied for that and everything like that so that is what i really need you to give you but mostly that is a white box this means that this is going to be completely blank and it's going to be delivered for you but of course that's a fully functional device and you can install your own operating system whatever open networking operating system you want to have on that and then you're going to receive all the features uh, based on the licensing of the operating system and the device, of course, that you have purchased. And that's going to give you the ability to choose from different vendors, which is awesome. You don't have to really go with one specific provider. You can just say, okay, I want to have this and this and this, and maybe uh, because I want to have uh, this, this low expense maintenance of this device which is awesome and this one of course is very featureful so for the core of my network I want this one and some other uh, items that you are going to buy here so a white box is going to be provided for you um, with the hardware maybe software and based on your choice as a matter of fact which is going to give you vendor neutrality and also customization and optimization based on the type of license, based on the type of the line cards maybe, or some other stuff that uh, is um, created for you. So, what is the benefits of that? Cost saving is going to be the major uh, deciding factor for a lot of buyers, as a matter of fact. The other one is flexibility. Like I said, I can choose from different vendors. Innovation, because maybe the feature that I'm trying to find, it is not provided by the big names in the market. Maybe uh, when I say big names, it doesn't really mean that those big names are really big or huge in the market. But what I mean is, if I just go with one vendor, then... Some of the features that I really want may, might not be provided by that vendor. And of course, because I cannot have interoperability with the, from uh, that uh, provider and other providers. So I'm kind of, um, you know, MC handed here without uh, receiving the feature that I really want. To. So white boxes are becoming uh, very much popular these days. Now, what is a network operating system? As a matter of fact, what is an open network operating system? So the operating system which is installed on the device, of course, is going to provide you with all the features of that device for you. That's kind of a medium between you and the device itself. And an open network operating system, of course, is going to be the same thing with some features, um, which is going to... Uh, not be proprietary as a matter of fact I have just said this multiple times during this uh, introduction so I would say for example uh, the features which are going to be found in open network operating systems going to be open source foundation specifically about the operating system which we are dealing with Arknos that's going to be based on Linux which is an open source uh, operating system for us it's going to be vendor neutral i just gave you the um, example of android phones for example modular and extensible archi architecture this one is specifically very bold in icnos we are going to talk about that automation and programmability again this is very bold in icnos and also the community driven deployment which is uh development of course which is very int interesting 
What are some of the examples of net open networking operating system? You know about uh, Cisco IS, you know about Junos, you know about some other operating systems for some uh, vendors, but what are the open networking ones? These are the list uh, of some of the most famous ones that I have just provided here. The first one is going to be Iknos, which we are going to talk about, and I have provided some labs for you, and the course, of course, is about this. But there are some other operating systems. Some of them are a little bit different in features. Uh, the most famous one, of course, is going to be Sonic from Microsoft. And then the Facebook OSS and the OpenSwitch and also Danos. These are the names that you might hear when you talk about network operating system. But, of course... Um, I would say that the most popular ones are going to be the first two in the list. And of course, these two are not going to be uh, completely uh, similar to each other because there are features that you can only find in Agnos and not in Sonic because Sonic, of course, is going to be a little more specialized for um, some other environments. So uh, what is Agnos? Agnos is going to be the open and modular network operating system. It is hardware agnostic. This is as all network operating systems should be, of course. And you can just run it on any type of white box. The good thing is IP Infusion can provide you with these boxes with Agnos installed on them, the licensing done with you for you. And everything is, you know, here with the maintenance and, and guarantees and warranties that you need. So you can just go here and ask them the device that you want. You don't have to really search the market to find the type of device. And after that, again, investigate the type of operating system that you need. All of them are going to be done for you here. And you are just going to receive a full box, functional, and just install it and start using that. It is built on open source software. Like I said, uh, Linux is going to be the foundation for that. And you can use Agnos in different environments. It is not just specialized for one environment, but it has uh, fully packed with features for data centers, service providers, and cloud. I'm going to speak about service provider technologies and some data center technologies during the labs. And of course, there are some other videos that you can just check for the theory of these technologies in detail. But you should know that you can just run Agnos on different platforms, like I said, for switching and for routing at the same time, plus some other features, of course. And... Agnos is designed to run on white box network operating system, and, and, and this is not limited to just one specific type of ASICs. You can use Broadcam, Intel, and some other uh, names in the market. And that is one of the places where Agnos, of course, is going to excel some other platforms, specifically Sonic. I'm, I'm just comparing Agnos and Sonic in this slide, as you can see. Both of them are uh, networking operating systems designed for white box network devices. But the differences in origin and governance, Sonic is driven by Microsoft and Open Computing Project, OCP. Agnos is developed and maintained by IP Infusion. That is a company name that runs Agnos, of course. And uh, it is in collaboration with open source community, as a matter of fact. The target environments are a little bit different. Specifically about Sonic, you just go with cloud and data center. These are the two uh, environments that you can run Sonic on that. What about Agnos? It has a broader range of use cases, including data centers, service providers, and also enterprise networks, which is the interesting part here. Like I said, you can run it on switches or uh, routers. For modular architectures, Agnes and Sonic, both of them, of course, are modular. You can say Agnes is generally considered more flexible and customizable than Sonic, which is one of the places that Agnes is going to excel. And Agnes always allows for addition or removal of specific network functions and services, enabling more tailored solutions. That is done through the licensing and some other uh you know, uh, the versions of the operating system, of course, you download and install. And also, like I said, uh, Sonic can run only on 
Broadcom based white boxes, but Akna supports um, kind of Broadcom, Intel, and some other platforms. So that is going to give you more features. So in broader hardware support, in customization and extensibility, and in the environment that you can run Akna's, that's going to be better than Sonic for you. So that was a very short introduction of uh, this, but as a matter of fact, there are a lot to talk about. But let's just jump in the labs and I'm going to show you the configuration of this device. That's going to give you a more hint of what you can do with this operating system. So I hope this has been informative for you and see you in the next videos.